traveling forward at good lord 51 miles an hour. Now let's assume that your brakes are new and the calipers are aligned. Still, by the time we come to a stop, we'll be occupying the same space as that Buick in front of us. An impossibility that nature will quickly resolve into death, mutilation, and oh look, they built a new putt-putt course. <laughs> This is great. Look at me. I'm in the real world of ordinary people, just living their ordinary, colorless, workaday lives. Thank you. No, thank you. And thank you, ordinary person. Hey, you want to hear an interesting thing about tomatoes? Uh, no, no, not really. Listen, didn't you say you needed some eggs? Yes, but anyone who knows anything about the dynamics of bacterial growth knows to pick up their refrigerated foods on the way out of the supermarket. Oh, okay, well maybe you should start heading on out then. No, this is fun. Oh, the thing about tomatoes, and I think you'll really enjoy this, is they're shelved with the vegetables, but they're technically a fruit. Oh, interesting. Isn't it? No, I mean what you find enjoyable. Oh boy. What now? Well, there's some value to taking a multivitamin, but the human body can only absorb so much. What you're buying here are the ingredients for very expensive urine. Well, maybe that's what I was going for. Well, then you'll want some manganese. <laughs> that was fun. Maybe tomorrow we can go to one of those big warehouse stores. Oh, I don't know, Sheldon. It's going to take me a while to recover from all the fun I had today. Are you sure? Uh, there are a lot of advantages to buying in bulk. Uh, for example, I noticed that you purchase your tampons one month supply at a time. What? what? Think about it. It's a product that doesn't spoil, and you're going to be needing them for at least the next 30 years. You want me to buy 30 years worth of tampons? Well, 30, 35. When did your mother go into menopause? Okay. I'm not talking about this with you. Oh, Penny. This is a natural human process, and we're talking about statistically significant savings. Now, if you assume 15 tampons per cycle and a 28-day cycle, are you fairly regular? Okay, no warehouse store, but we're still on for putt-putt golf, right? Hey, I just ran into Penny. She seemed upset about something. I think it's her time of the month. <laughs> I marked the calendar for future reference. What's with the fish? It's an experiment. What happened to your scrambled egg research? Oh, that was a dead end. No, scrambled eggs are as good as they're ever going to be. So, fish. I read an article about Japanese scientists who inserted DNA from luminous jellyfish into other animals, and I thought, hey, fish night lights. Fish night lights. It's a billion dollar idea. Shh! <laughs> Mum's the word. Uh, Sheldon, are you sure you don't want to just apologize to Gablehauser and get your job back? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I have too much to do. Like luminous fish. Sorry, I didn't... That's just the beginning. I also have an idea for a bulk mail-order feminine hygiene company. Oh, glow-in-the-dark tampons. <laughs> Leonard, we're gonna be rich. Thanks for coming on such short notice. Oh, you did the right thing, Colin. I didn't know what else to do. He's lost all focus. Every day he's got a new obsession. This is a particularly disturbing one. Mommy?